Welcome to Bed Crime Stories Podcast. I'm your host, T. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, bed crimers. As always, I wish you the best. To anyone new here, a warm welcome. Thank you for checking out my channel. Let me just ask that after listening to or watching this video, if you learned something or enjoyed it, please do me a favor and smash that like button. Now let's dig in. Dennis Rader, the serialist known as BTK, who is serving a life sentence for doing in 10 people over the course of two decades in Wichita, Kansas, recently told Fox News that his prison cell has been tossed up and his belongings taken as the authorities reopen the unsolved disappearance of Cynthia Dawn Kinney. Kinney was a 16-year-old cheerleader when she went missing on June 23rd of 1976. She was last seen at the laundromat that her aunt and uncle owned and where she worked. She's never been seen or heard from again. This past April, Sheriff Eddie Virden and two other investigators visited Dennis Rader in his Kansas prison cell. Rader was questioned about Kinney as well as the disappearance of 53-year-old Shauna Garber on Halloween of 1990. Garber was essayed and hands went around her neck. She was found dead a month after she vanished from Missouri. However, she was not identified until 2021 through a DNA analysis. Rader is denying involvement in both cold cases, saying he was done talking with the sheriff, but that he had enjoyed meeting the two investigators. But let's go back to Cynthia Kinney. After her disappearance, her purse and drink were found at the laundromat, as well as a half-finished donut. Witnesses said she left the laundromat at 9.30 a.m. and got into a faded beige 1965 Plymouth Belvedere with two people. One witness said the two people were a man and a woman, but another witness said they were two women in their 20s. After her disappearance, Cynthia was reportedly seen traveling around southern Kansas with a religious group, but authorities were never able to confirm the sightings. Rader has said that he was interviewed twice about Cynthia's disappearance. His daughter Carrie Rawson noted that Cynthia's apparent abduction does not resemble her father's crimes. Rader would typically follow a victim around and then he would break into that person's home and attack them there. And as for Shauna Garber, her body was found in an abandoned farmhouse which again wouldn't necessarily match Dennis Rader's M.O. So we'll have to wait and watch and see what comes of this. Until the next time on Bed Crime Stories, hey, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment, consider a membership, and I'll see you next time.